guys and welcome back to my channel. I've got a little smudge on ya. So today's video I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. So I've just gone and freshly got them threaded and I like to tint them at home because I feel like I'm going to be worried if I get someone else to do them because my hair's quite light and I'm scared that they're going to do them too dark. So if I do them at home I can kind of like take it off when I want to take it off or if I take it off too soon it doesn't matter because I can then just reapply it. It's only going to be a little quick video because it's not, it doesn't take that long to be honest and it's really easy to do. The products I use is this. This is Ilu, I think it's called Ilu, Ilu London and they do like, you know this brand, everyone knows this brand, they do eyelashes, mainly eyelashes. <laughs> um, I've had eyelashes from them before and they're all really good. Their eyelash glue is really really good as well. This is just called Dye Brow and this is a permanent tint for your eyebrows. It says it's permanent, but once you do it, it kind of fades as you wash. So every time you wash your face, it kind of like fades a little bit more. So if you do do them too dark, it's not too much of an issue because they will fade. Um, I kind of do mine every time that I need them threaded, so I guess every six weeks or so. Um, I use dark brown, which is scary and it sounds scary but it's fine I literally leave it on for it says you can have it on for like 15 minutes but I literally leave it on for like four minutes and then it literally is that quick eyebrows done it says it lasts up to six weeks under 15 minute application and up to 12 applications worth I mean I think there's gonna be way more than 12 applications in this pot alone inside I've used it a couple of times and I use this little bit to mix it so if it looks a bit dirty that's because it's got tint in it so when you open it it comes with let me take it out this this bottle here which is the activator and it's got like a little droplet dropper thingy majiggy on it and then it also comes with this which is the actual tint and this is like a creamy consistency and when you get it you just have to use this top bit just to pop it open because um, there'll be like a little metal seal on the inside. So what you got to do is you got to mix these two together. So basically, like you was mixing hair dye up, it says that you should have like, um, what did it say? A certain amount of that and a certain amount of that, but I kind of just mix it up to the consistency that I like. I felt like the way that they told you to mix it up was too runny, and I preferred it a little bit thicker so that I could actually get it on my eyebrows rather than it running everywhere so I kind of just mix it up to like a pasty con like a consistency so yeah oh it also comes with like a little spoolie thing but uh, god knows where that's gone just use a little eyebrow brush and this one's just from makeup revolution so I use that and that's what I use to apply my eyebrow tint let's get this eyebrow tint on my eyebrows shall we the little tub that it comes in comes with like this little dippy bit here so that's where I mix up my colour whenever I use it this is probably a waste but because I've had it open for a while it seems like the top bit kind of develops a little bit so I like to just take that top bit off and just chuck that away so that the top bit is like a little fresh bit so then I literally just squeeze about that much just a little splodge and then with the activator you gotta be careful with this because it does actually drop out quite quickly so I do like a couple of drops at a time and then I'll mix it up so the drops that come out are quite big and it tells you I think it tells you to put in mix two centimeters of cream color with five drops of activator five drops of activator is quite a lot and you do not need two centimeters worth of this important notice before you do this be really careful please make sure you do a skin test and you might think no no I'll be fine but if you react to any kind of hair tint or anything if you react to this you could cause yourself some bad damage so when I first got this because I'm very sensitive to things I made sure that I mixed a little bit up in the container and then I put a little dob of it behind my ear just to make sure that I wasn't allergic to it and then I just checked on it after like about 10 minutes just checked to see if it was like inflamed or red or anything and then it was fine so I literally knew it was fine but make sure please make sure you do a skin test because if you don't and you react to it it could be really bad like your whole face could swell up and your eyebrows could fall off so don't do that 
<laughs> but anyway, mixed it up to the consistency that I like, which is kind of like a it's like a pudding consistency. So it's not like it's like a custard. So it's not like a pouring off, but it's not too thick. So then once that's all mixed up, I literally just whack it on my eyebrows. So I'll get like a little mirror. This is easier to do once you've had your eyebrows threaded because you've already got that shape nicely there. I feel like she's like, she cut a bit of my eyebrow in. Okay, we'll fix that. I load up my brush with not too much, but enough. And I'll start like at the top bit in the middle and just apply it like I would put on like a brow powder or a brow gel. Try not to go like too much out of the lines because it will stain your skin. It will stain your skin for a little while. So just I just try not to, try to keep in the lines basically. And you want to put quite a bit of this on because you want to make sure that every single hair is covered. And I try and do this quite quickly because I want both eyebrows to be even. Like, I don't want to do one eyebrow and then have one eyebrow darker than the other. I always do the right one first and I always take that one, like, wipe that one off first. So I just make sure that I'm basically covering all the hairs. That it's all fancy dory. I have a little cotton bud to the side so that in case I make any mistakes uh, I can just wipe it off make sure that I get all the hairs like covered oh look at that I've got a spiky eyebrow everyone's like going for that whole spiky eyebrow look but I just look like a werewolf if I try and do it it's like very very weird it looks really cool on some people, but I just don't. I think my head's too small for it. I put it more lightly on the inner edge because I don't like that to be too dark. I like the outer edge to be darker. But that is pretty much it. This eyebrow is always such a better shape than that one. This one's like perfectly like, whereas this one's like meh. And I can never fix it. Because I've got like no hair there. This one goes all the way down here and this one doesn't. So I kind of like try and tint my skin <laughs> so that it looks like I have an end of an eyebrow. They should look like this. All I do is just keep an eye on this for like and check them out like every couple of minutes. I'll come back in a couple of minutes and I'll show you what I do to check if they're ready yet. See you in two. Meanwhile. And because this is dark brown, it's only going to take a couple of minutes. So what I do is I get panicky because it looks dark and I don't want it to be dark. So I'll take a little baby wipe and I'll literally just wipe off a section just to see if it's dark enough. Which it looks fine. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take the rest off. Because I could always go back and fix it up and go darker if I want to. But obviously I can't go lighter. Okay, so that is my eyebrows done. Obviously, you can see that they're nice and natural, that they just look a little bit darker because before they and they match my hair really well, I think. Obviously, I haven't filled them in or anything, so I'll be doing that when I do my makeup. This is how they've turned out. They're just like a little bit darker than they was, filled in the little gaps that there was, and I just like it, and it's nice because if I don't want to wear anything on my eyebrows, they still have a colour there. Yeah, that is how I do my eyebrows. So quick, so easy. Literally, like, you go to the salon and you pay, what, how much do you pay for an eyebrow tin? Like, eight pounds? And you can buy this whole set. I'm pretty sure I got this set from Savers. And I'm sure this set was, like, 3 99 If you buy this in Boots, I know it's a lot more expensive. So if you're going to buy it, have a little check in Savers first, because I know that it is cheaper. Plus, 
if you're going to buy it in boots anyway, you're still going to save money because you're going to get how many god knows how many goes it says 12 but i'm sure you'll get more out of it by the way if you do get it on your hand it will stain so be careful if you enjoy my videos make sure you subscribe and i will see you all soon bye